The growl of the Tasmanian devil has earned it a fierce reputation, but it's not as tough as it sounds. A vicious disease has been stalking devils since the 1990s. Genetics researcher Elizabeth Murchison is studying what's called the devil facial tumor. Which is a, a horrible disease which is affecting uh, the Tasmanian devil and, and has um, really made their numbers decline precipitously over the last five or ten years. The threat is so great, the Tasmanian government has declared the devil an endangered species. Losing the devils would be a tragedy for Tasmania. This island off the coast of Australia has already lost the Tasmanian tiger. The fear was and is that tumour that is a, a transmissible spreading through the population could lead to such an, a, a drastic crash in their population, it could lead to extinction. With the tiger gone, the devil is the largest remaining meat-eating marsupial on the planet. Marsupials are mammals that raise their young in distinctive pouches. Losing devils means losing more than an island icon. Ironically, devils help prevent the spread of other diseases by consuming rotting carcasses in the forest. Oh, it's an exceptionally useful scavenger in that it cleans up the environment. The tumor is thought to be an allograft, which means it transplants itself from one animal to another. Researchers suspect disease cells break off when devils bite each other. The cells then spread through the mouth, saliva, and canine teeth. But there is hope for the devils. The good news is the disease has only reached as far west as the Cradle Mountain area. And this is now being understood of the genetic variation between the western population of devils and the eastern population, whereby there's a possibility that there's actually a resistance within the western population. Understanding the genetics of the devil facial tumour could help save the animal. And what researchers learn about cancer in wildlife could apply to people. What is it that causes a cancer to be infectious? It's, it's a very unusual concept and I think it's one that is interesting both from a conservation point of view, but also from health and disease in humans also. The tumors also show just how vulnerable wildlife can be when populations become separated and isolated, losing their genetic diversity. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.